Brothers, sisters, brothers, sisters, brothers, sisters. All right. We'll touch on a couple of issues right now, right? Um, first of all, I just finished talking to a couple of a couple of brothers on the bus, and they were talking. They were talking to each other, and I was like listening on the side. Um, and they was talking about uh, they had been working on this job for like approximately like eight months, and they were getting twenty-two dollars an hour. And then they found out that they had supposed to have been getting twenty-seven dollars an hour, right? company issued them $500 checks, like friends checks or some shit like that, right? And they bust the checks, right? But I told the brothers, and they didn't even know this shit. I said, brother, what you did when you cashed that $500 check, you know what I'm saying? What you did was they really owed you back money at whatever rate of the date, whatever your pay scale was at the date that you started. If it was $22 and, and they were supposed to pay you $27, so they owed you basically five dollars an hour for every hour that you worked from day one up until you know the day that they issued you that goddamn check, right? And when you bust, when they gave y'all them five hundred dollar checks, called them fringe checks or some bullshit, right? What that was was man, when you busted that five hundred dollar check, you forfeited all claims and rights to that back money that they had owed y'all last, man. I said now, usually what happens is. I asked him, I said, are you union? Because what you'll have in unions is, you have a motherfucking union boss who will fucking, you know, he's picked supposedly uh, to represent the goddamn workers. And what they'll do is they'll give that motherfucker, and even if it's not union, you still will have what's called an employee representative. You understand what I'm saying? And it may be on the books or it may be off the books, meaning that the motherfucker is 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 is, is your employee rep, but you don't even know you got one. You don't even know an employee rep exists, but the company has that shit within their goddamn uh, papers. You know their legal the legal aspects of their business. You understand what I'm saying? And this shit is handled usually by a lawyer. You know what I mean? And this this shit could be this don't this don't only apply to corporate to corporate companies, corporations, and, and, and shit. This also applies to small businesses, construction companies that might only have you know twenty employees or, or thirty employees. You know, it, 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 I'm telling you, it, it, it ranges from the small business to the goddamn corporations. All right, and, and some may have you may have uh, employee representatives and shit that you don't even know are there. And, and on paper, they act as if they fixed the paperwork to show that this motherfucker has been voted, that election took place, and he was voted and picked by y'all to represent them. And what they'll do is they'll give that motherfucker like five grand, right? Ten grand, okay? For him to sign off saying that all of y'all were notified and that y'all all agreed, you know, by hand vote. They can say, they'll say that shit. I have, in other words, they don't need anybody got their signature on no pieces of paper. When you cash the check, the check is the goddamn uh, agreement. The busing of the check is your goddamn vote saying that I, I agree to accept 500 as a, and, 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 and forfeit any further claims to the goddamn money. You understand that shit? And I broke that shit down to them brothers like that. And they ain't even understand that shit. So now they, yeah, they hot. They real upset. And I say, well, man, you know, I said before you go off, you know, shoot at the mouth at the motherfuckers. Investigate the shit. Investigate the goddamn shit. You know. And I told him, I said, you got. I said, y'all three right there. Since y'all know the shit, do it quietly. I said, and keep the shit to yourself. I said because you don't need to. Don't let nobody outside of y'all circle or that you. Don't trust to keep their mouth closed while y'all investigating this, doing this investigative process going on because that, that somebody will drop a dime to the goddamn uh, to corporate office or to the goddamn management, you know, whatever the fuck. They'll drop down on that shit, and then what they'll do is the minute one of y'all niggas come in late, They'll, they'll start going in your history and tallying up all the goddamn times you was late or ever called out or missed a day and shit like that. And the next time you call out or the next time you miss a goddamn day, they'll use that as a means to fire your ass. 
All right. I said, so I suggest since y'all three are right here and y'all the, the beginners and originators of getting the information, keep shit to yourself. Don't even tell nobody else, even if they in your circle, what y'all have discovered. Now, I say y'all need to shake hands on that shit and keep it to yourself. I said, because if you do tell one motherfucker from this point on, you is going to forfeit all chances of getting a big motherfucking payoff, a big payoff, you know, but. What I always taught y'all, niggas can't follow simple goddamn directions. Never. Never. Alright? Their ability to do this thing right is going to be based on them following the simple fucking directions that I gave them. This is Brother Elihu L. Peace. And if you ever been in a situation like that, investigate the shit. If what I described to you just now ever happened to you, they ever gave, uh, uh, matter of fact, and then when I was telling them, a sister on a goddamn uh, bus working at Walmart, she said, you right, you right, you know what I mean? She just was like, you right, you right, you know? They gave us $300 checks, but I refused to um, cash my check, and she was like, you guys, when they give you those checks like that, talking about, she say, they're, they're, they're make it look like, she say, they're, you, you know, most of the people that don't know no better, she said, would think it's free money, and they, you know, you know black people, for shit, $300, give me that shit, and haul ass to the goddamn bank or check cash place, you know black people, and, you know, and that's, and that's what white people rely on, they rely on your goddamn ignorance, they rely on your ass for not fucking knowing, you understand what I'm saying, that's why, I, uh, that's why I am a Gnostic, a Gnostic, not agnostic, a Gnostic, Gnostic just means gnosis, it means knowledge, to know, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the goddamn Greek of, 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 of meaning no. It's the Greek word equivalent of knowing. Gnosis. Knowing. All right? Now, and, I, and, I, and that's all I want to do. You know, I'm obsessive compulsive when it comes to goddamn knowing shit. I want to know every goddamn thing. I'm nosy. I signify. I do all that shit. Yep. Guilty as fucking charged. Because I want to know. I'm fucking Yakub in the flesh, the waterhead scientist. You heard me? Shit. Motherfuckers, you talk that bullshit if you want. If you want. Try to justify you being dumb or stupid as a motherfucker. You know? That's the lazy mind. The lazy mind they got a million and one goddamn excuses. They let themselves off the hook for being for not for not laboring and putting forth effort. You know what I mean? Because check this out. This is a saying that I came up with a long time ago. Ignorance is voluntary. This is Brother Lyle. Peace.